I think some of the estimates coming into this earnings season, certainly not bullish, but they certainly weren't as bearish as maybe what we saw in the previous quarters. Definitely not as bearish as previous quarters, but your earnings revisions are still running around the 25th percentile. So you've seen a little bit of a deceleration in earnings revisions coming into the quarter. And typically when that happens, you beat by about two bucks relative to estimates. And at an annualized rate, that would get us somewhere in the 216, 217 uh, range for the year. So, uh, you know, coming in a little bit low on the estimate side, that's not too out of bounds relative to history, uh, but not as nearly as poor. And I would just say anecdotally, sentiment-wise, not nearly as poor as we've seen the last three or four earnings seasons where people really bear it up coming in. Uh, we got the bank earnings earlier this uh, morning, Dennis, or at least uh, three of the big banks here. Uh, there were some upside surprises there. I'm wondering, what are you expecting overall to hear out of not just the banks, but overall the companies overall in terms of how their businesses are holding up? Shockingly well. <laughs> Relative to what we've heard and the fears over the last, uh, I guess, yeah, basically year, and particularly since the banking crisis, when people thought following that there was going to be this significant tightening of financial conditions that was going to lead to a sharp deterioration in the economy, I think you're going to hear from companies that things are holding up pretty well, consistent with slower growth than what we've seen the last two years, but expansionary like economy. And we'll see what happens in the future with earnings. We'll see what happens in the future with the economy. But for now, you can see relatively okay earnings consistent with an expansion. Uh, Mona, we've already started to see a lot of equity strategists and analysts start to ratchet up their expectations, uh, not only for overall aggregate earnings for the S&P 500, but of course, your 12-month uh, price targets as well. Yeah, you know, look, I think uh, the earnings recession that we went through, and really Q4 and Q1 came in negative year-on-year -year earnings growth for the S&P 500. Q3, uh, Q2 earnings, which we're uh, getting right now, could also be the perhaps last quarter that we get a negative year-on-year -year number. And then we start to see improvement in Q3 and Q4 and really into 2024 as well. And so as we head towards the next 6 to 12 months, uh, we also know markets are pretty forward-looking. Uh, right now, 2024 estimates are calling for double-digit earnings growth. Now, we will have to assess the backdrop as we head into 2024. But if we are in an environment where you know, yields are moving lower um, and the economy is improving from any sort of softening, uh, we could certainly see a rebound in earnings growth. So some of the, the momentum that we've seen in markets recently could be an expression of uh, the direction of travel of earnings over the next six months as well. So we certainly see progress there. Of course, we've moved pretty far pretty fast, as we noted, uh, across equities now. And so we think some period of consolidation makes sense. Perhaps we'll get uh, some earnings figures over the next few weeks that give us uh, mm -hmm. some reason to pause. But we do think uh, broadly, the opportunity will come as we head towards the back half of this year.